Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing my five looks, one palette video on the Danessa Myricks palette. I am super excited to show you the looks that I came up with. This right here, this, this is like nothing in comparison to all of the looks that I did with this palette. This isn't technically a review video, so you won't see swatches or comparison in this one. This is just my five looks and I will tell you exactly what I think of the palette before I get into them. Do I think it's worth it? It is a pretty penny, it's $125. However, this palette definitely suits my collection to perfection because I didn't have a lot of like um, multi-chrome shades in my collection and this palette has plenty that I enjoy playing with this palette. I absolutely loved it. And I think you can create some really spectacular looks with this one. One of the few issues I had with this palette is I was so excited to play with colors like Polaris and um, space suit right here. These are two gel-like formulas and let's just say that you can totally use them on the inner corner of your eye and you will like them there, but don't put them anywhere else because they are super sticky, they move around like crazy and they are going to look like a creasy mess. I tried them on their own and I also tried them patting them on top of a different shadow to see if they would move less. And they still move, they just kind of take over the shadow underneath and it's a little bit of a hot mess. So while the shades are beautiful, I do not like the gel shades to put all over the eyelid. However, this palette still has some other really beautiful multi-chrome shades that you can totally put all over your eyelid and they perform like an absolute dream. Of course, I am leaving you the palette linked down below in the description box of the video in case you are interested in purchasing it. I don't think it's available at Sephora yet. I am going to leave you links to Sephora and Beautylish, and if I find it anywhere else, I'll leave you a link to um, any other place where it's available. So with that said, let's just go ahead and get started. Before I ever played with this palette, I thought I would for sure have to reach for other palettes for matte shades and just use these pops of color from the palette. But I played around with it the other day. I did the look that I'm about to recreate for you. And I realized that I can basically use the color Black Hole as my base for every single eye look. And um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. You can also use like a matte brown, a transition color if you feel like it. But... I really like just sticking to the palette. I feel like the palettes are for the most part created to just be used on their own. That's why they have several shades. That's why there's a color story. And so I like sticking to the one palette I'm going to use for the most part. So I'm going to use just the one palette. I'm pretty sure if I change my mind later, you will definitely know about it. But for now, I'm just sticking to the palette and I'm going to start my look with the color Black Hole. I have a rough for number one brush in my hand and I'm going to start blending that color all over my eyelid. So I started in the center and now I'm just spreading it to my outer corner and my inner corner here. And the plan is to just create a really nice black base for this eye look. Switched my brush to a clean refer number 15 and I'm going to work the clean brush on the crease to help me diffuse that color nicely. A little bit more black hole in this outer corner here. Back with my refer number one and I'm just going to intensify it ever so slightly. Okay, so now that I have that color blended all over and you can see it's like a gradient effect all the way to the brow bone and then it's the darkest on my eyelid right there. And this is pretty much a base that you can use for any of the pops of color on the palette and just put them on top like I'm about to do. With the tip of my finger, I'm grabbing the color Martian and I'm going to pop that shade right here over the center of my eyelid. Just tapping it on with my finger right here. And this color Martian is so beautiful. It's got yellow and green and blue. It's stunning. So all over the eyelid. I'm just leaving a little bit of space right here on the outer corner. Then with my refer number 21, I have the color Spring Equinox. And I'm going to put it on the inner corner of the eyelid, blend it into the color Martian, and I'm going to define right here on top with the brush a little bit. A little bit more of the black shade on the outer corner here just to tap it over the edge so that the colors blend nicely. 
and just look at how simple this beautiful eye look was, right? So I'm going to do some face makeup and I'll be right back to finish this up. And let's finish up the first look. I have the color Black Hole on my reference number 13. And starting on the outer corner, I'm going to start blending that color Black Hole forward to the tear duct area. With the color Spring Equinox and my reference number 28, I'm going to finish up the inner corner of the eye right here. Blending that color right underneath my tear duct area and the inner corner right there. And I blended the color halfway through my under eye here with the tip of my reference number 28 brush. Same brush and a little bit of the color Martian and I'm going to just back and forth blend it down here. And for this eye look I'm going to use the color Signal in my waterline. Okay, so that's that color on the waterline right there from Lethal Cosmetics. I've been waiting for a moment where my Lethal Cosmetics colored eyeliners could thrive, and here we are. <laughs> okay, so this beautiful thing is the first look before mascara or lashes. Let me put some of that on, and I'll be right back to show you the final result. I'm obsessed. This looks really good. Here we are. This is the final first look with this beautiful Danessa Myricks palette. I am obsessed with this eye look. The color Martian is definitely one of my favorite colors from this palette. This looks freaking stunning. And I simply cannot get over it, okay? I love this. Okay, I'm super excited to keep playing. Let's move on to look number two. Let's begin look number two. And I'm going to use the color Black Hole. This time starting on the outer corner of my eye because I think I'm going to leave a space in the center. So starting on the outer corner, I'm just tapping that color in place right there. And I'm also going to use that color right here, the beginning of my eyelid. With my reference number one, I'm just going to tie them right here in the center. Alrighty, so just like this. And with my reference number 15, I'm going to just make sure that things look blended right here on the upper side of the crease. So then with the tip of my finger, I grab the color Aurora, which is a beautiful multi-chrome. Just look at the green reflect and then the um, pink. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Anyways, I'm going to tap that shade right here in the center of the eyelid. And then from the center, I'm tapping side to side a little bit so that it blends over the black shade. A little bit more of that same shade on my reference number 21 and I just wanted to kind of define my eyelid up here just blend that color inwards and then with a little bit of strawberry moon I'm going to tap that shade right in the center back with my reference number one we are going to blend the edges and with a little bit more strawberry moon I'm going to work on my inner corner right here Okay, just like this. This is the top of the second look right here. Absolutely loving it. Let me put on some face makeup and I'll be right back and we'll finish it up. Okay, I'm back with makeup on and I grabbed the color Black Hole once again. And with my reference number 26 brush, I'm going to smudge it on the outer corner of my under eye. And right underneath my tear duct area here, just leaving a little space in the center once again. Okay, I wasn't looking so I kind of just did the whole under eye, but that's okay. <laughs> With the tip of that same brush, I grab the color Aurora and I'm going to blend it right over the center of the under eye. And with my refer number 13, I'm going to smoke all of that out, still using the color Black Hole, just very little of it. And I'm smudging and blending back and forth right under here. With my refer number 21, I grab the color Strawberry Moon and I'm going to just finish up the inner corner of the eye right here with it. I went ahead with the Lethal Cosmetics eyeliner in the color Vinyl and I put it right on the waterline of my eye right there. So this is what things are looking like before mascara or lashes. Let me go ahead and do some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to show you the final look number two. Back with mascara and lashes on and this right here is the final second look. I'm not even showing you just with mascara because I feel like this palette is just so dramatic that every look deserves a lash so this is what they look like with mascara and lashes on i'm absolutely loving the dual chromes the trio chromes multi chromes whatever it is that comes in this palette these shades just shine so freaking pretty loving it okay let's move on to the third eye look and here's what both of these looks are like from a little bit further away so just imagine them on both eyes <laughs> 
Welcome to look number three. I've already changed my mind about what I said at the beginning of the video and I'm going to use some browns. So this right here is my mini star palette from Natasha Denona and I am obsessed with these two matte colors right here. I feel like these are the best transition shade and deepening up the outer corner type of shades and then I'm going to combine these with the shades from the Danessa Myricks palette. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to use my number 27 brush from Refer. And I'm going to back and forth blend this shade on the crease of my eye right here. Just back and forth with my nice thick blending brush. Just making a nice even base on the crease right here. And now with the darker matte shade, I'm going to darken up the outer corner of the eye. I'm using my Ref for number one brush for this, just dabbing the color back here. And I'm going to start blending the color back and forth to meet with the first color I placed. Just back and forth and doing little circles around the outer corner area so that the colors blend nicely together. And just blend it back and forth until there are no more harsh lines. Okay, so now we have the base for a nice brown smoky eye, two shades, a transition color and a darker brown right there. And with the tip of my finger, I grab the color Solar Rain and I'm going to put that color right on my eyelid with my finger, just tap, tap, tapping it all over the eyelid here. With my refer number 21, I grabbed a little bit more of that same color and I'm going to just blend it on my eyelid. And then with the dark matte shade on the tip of my refer number one, we are going to blend this outer edge back here. Just blending it forward. Okay, I think that looks absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. And I'm going to leave it at that for the top of the eye. So let me put some makeup around and I'll be right back and we'll finish it up. Back with some makeup on and I also put on eyeliner in my waterline. This one also from Lethal Cosmetics in the color Decibel, which is like a beautiful dark brown burgundy-ish shade. So now with my refer number 26, I'm going to use my dark brown matte shade on the outer half of my under eye, just back and forth, connecting it with the top right here at the end. And then with my refer number 14 brush and my transition color, I'm going to smoke that out. And for the inner corner, I'm going to use the color Golden Eclipse. And I'm just adding it right here to the inner corner of the eye, blending it in ever so slightly. Okay, so this right here is look number three before mascara or lashes. I am obsessed in love. This is so freaking beautiful. Let me be right back with some mascara and lashes on. Okay, back with some mascara and lashes on. And this right here is the final third look with this palette. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. This looks so freaking beautiful. It looks like I used like five or six different shades and I only used four, I believe. Yeah. And just look at how the shade changes from very close and light to a little bit darker and sultrier and like orangey. So beautiful, right? Okay, let's go ahead and move on to look number four. Okay, I'm going to once again use a transition color for look number four. So this is that same little palette from Natasha Denona. I'm grabbing the transition shade and just blending it on my crease. Just back and forth with a big fluffy brush. I'm using the refer number 27. And back and forth, just smoothing the color all over my crease. Then with the darker matte brown shade, I'm going to start intensifying the outer corner once again. Using my refer number one brush and just blend that color on the crease, back and forth right here. And then I am going to use the color Black Hole from the Danessa Myricks palette, just to intensify things even further on the outer corner. So this is that satin matte black shade that I use for looks one and two, and I'm just going to intensify things with it and just blending it into my crease right here. I did want to have a really nice brown transition shade to blend the black shade into. Oh my god, look at this shade we're about to use. This is the color Gaia. And I'm going to, with my finger, just tap it all over my eyelid here. This is such a beautiful multi-chrome shade. Wow. Okay, tap it, tap it, tap it all over the eyelid. I grabbed a little bit more of it with my refer number 21. And, and I'm just going to define my eyelid with that. 
and make sure it blends into my outer corner by just back and forth swiping the shades. For the inner corner, I'm going to use the color Polaris. Oh my god. This is my reference number 28. I was not ready, okay? And I'm going to blend it in to my eyelid. This is one of the gel formulas from the palette. And wow, it's a beautiful. Okay, just blending it inwards with my reference number 28 brush. I want to keep going. I'm going to blend it in a little further. There we go, like a third of the way into my eyelid. Okay, so this right here is the top of look number four. I have to tell you, these looks are effortless. Effortless. Like, I don't have to think about it. They just, like, become amazing just because the shades are amazing, you know? Okay, let me be right back with some makeup on. Back with some makeup on, and I have an eyeliner in my waterline from Lethal Cosmetics. This is in the color Signal. I just put it right here on the waterline of my under eye. And with my refer number 26 brush, I grab the color Black Hole, and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. So, like, halfway in, and make sure it meets with the top right here at the end. And then with my refer number 14, I grabbed my transition color from the Natasha Denona palette and I'm going to smoke it all out right under here, back and forth. Also adding a little bit of the dark brown shade right underneath my lashes. And I'm going to grab the color Spring Equinox and just use it as my inner corner highlighter. Beautiful. This is a refer number 28 brush right here. This lovely thing is look number four before mascara or lashes. Let me be right back to show you the final look. Look at how this looks purple from far away. So pretty. Let me go ahead and put mascara and lashes on and I shall be right back. Oh my god, I'm so in love with the shifts of color in these shades. This palette is so good and definitely very welcomed in my collection because I really didn't have a lot of multi-chrome shadows and this one has so many beautiful ones. Cannot get over it. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the fifth and final look. Just like I did before, by the way, here's how these two looks are next to each other. I'm so obsessed. Okay, let's move on to the fifth look. Let's go ahead and start the fifth and final look with the color Black Hole. Once again, I'm just going to use this palette for look number five. And I'm first starting by tapping Black Hole on the outer V of the eye right here with my refer number one brush. And once the color is placed, I'm going to start blending it into my crease with the tip of my refer number one brush. I'm going to do the same thing on the inner corner of the eye, just tapping the color on my eyelid here onto the crease. And of course, they're going to meet right here in the center back and forth with a cleanish um, blending brush. I'm just going to make sure that the color diffuses nicely on the crease right here so that it looks nice and seamless, no hard edges. I went ahead and cleaned my edge with a little bit of makeup remover and this is my nice base for look number five. The next step is to use the color Galaxy all over the eyelid. So I'm going to start in the center of the eyelid but I'm going to really just blend it everywhere on my eyelid. Just patting the color in place. And with my refer number 21, I'm going to just expand it a little more. There we go. Back with my refer number 1, I'm going to just blend the edges of the multi-chrome into the satin black shade. And then I grab the color Polaris right here, also on the tip of my finger. And I'm going to tap this gel-like base all over the center of my eyelid. And back with my refer number one and a little bit of the color Galaxy, I'm tapping over the edges here. Okay, so this right here is the top of look number five. Let me go ahead and do my face makeup and I'll be right back and we'll finish it up. Back with makeup on and while the jelly shade worked really nicely for look number four, I think it was, on the inner corner and it did not move, as you can see, it's not happening all over the eyelid for me because eyes, you know, crease and it just is moving and I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this beautiful glitter shade. This is the color Orion right here. And we're going to use that jelly as glue basically since it's so sticky. And I'm going to put Orion all over the eyelid because I can. All over the center of the eyelid I should say. And I feel like you have to like pat and drag in order for it to stick better. Okay, there we go so much on my finger. 
Then for the inner corner, we're going to use the color Blue Moon. And with the refer number three and the color Black Hole, I'm doing the outer corner of my under eye and right underneath my tear duct area here. In the center of the under eye, a little bit more Orion, right underneath my lower lashes. And then I'm going to smoke it all out with a little bit more Black Hole on my refer number 14 brush. In my waterline, the Chanel eyeliner in number 30, Blue Marine. And this right here is look number 5 before mascara or lashes. I have to admit, I think this is my least favorite one of them all. That glitter is just too chunky and I hate that the gel kind of like just wants to crease in the middle. But that's okay because the first four looks were amazing. So this one's just... This one's okay <laughs> in comparison. It's really pretty, but just in comparison, I like the other ones better. Anyways, um, this is look number five before mascara or lashes. Let me be right back and we'll finish it up. Back with mascara and lashes on. And this right here is the fifth and final look. Like I said, just not as impressive as the rest, in my opinion. I feel like that chunky glitter cheapens it in a way, but that's okay. I definitely wanted to try it. Anyways, I cannot wait to see which look was your favorite, so definitely let me know down in the comment section, one through five, which one do you like best? I'm really hoping that you guys liked the looks. I absolutely loved playing with this palette. If you want to know whether or not I recommend it, overall, I do. And I know it's a pretty penny, but it just has such special shades. Now, this palette is not for the faint of heart. You want to like to have really intense, colorful, dark, smoky looks in order to buy it if you're all about the natural looks and you don't like to take risks as much i probably don't recommend it for you because this is like all drama right here i did do um i think look number three it was that one was a little bit more natural looking but for the most part um everything you're going to come up with in this palette is going to be very dark and sultry and glamorous if you like the looks that i created in this video and you see yourself wearing them then definitely go for this palette because you're going to love it but otherwise i would definitely skip on it let me tell you which look was my favorite i think my favorite looks were one because the color martian is just so spectacularly beautiful i can't get over it and then i also really liked look number four i guess let me keep going so the one with the color martian i believe that was look number one so one is my favorite then four then three and then five is my least favorite. Again, I just don't really love the chunky glitter. Please let me know down in the comment section which look was your favorite. And if you like the video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.